We're live at Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida, for the running of the great American race, the Daytona 500. A new season of Monster Energy NASCAR Cup racing is officially about to get underway. The weather is perfect, pre-race festivities are wrapping up, and the sold-out crowd is on their feet. It's that time of year again. NASCAR is back. Welcome to Hampton, Georgia, home of Atlanta Motor Speedway, and this year's running of the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500 on PRN. Atlanta is a favorite of many Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series drivers. The worn surface hasn't seen a repave in two decades now, but the drivers just love it. In fact, several of them helped convince track owners to put off a planned repave that was due to take place shortly after today's race. Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series makes its one and only stop in Vegas for the running of the Cobalt 400, a race that has grown so much in popularity that in 2018, NASCAR is doubling down and adding a second Vegas event to the schedule. Now, this year, as usual, the field is stacked with stars, including Vegas native Kyle Busch. Kyle will be seeking his first Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series win here since 2009. So let's go down to the track. Welcome to the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix International Raceway for today's Camping World 500. Today, PIR lives up to that nickname as temperatures are expected to reach the upper 90s when the green flag drops. We're ready to find out which driver will be able to manage this unique one-mile oval under those very tough conditions. There's no doubt. Drivers are definitely going to be feeling the NASCAR heat today. Today, NASCAR returns to movie-making country. Only the stars are all here at Auto Club Speedway. NASCAR's biggest stars, guys like Dale Earnhardt Jr., Brad Keselowski, and Kyle Busch, will all be in the spotlight today as they take another step toward a championship. This fast and wide racetrack has multiple grooves for lots of passing opportunities. So it should be quite a show today. Grab some popcorn and let's head down to the track. We're coming to you live from Martinsville Speedway, located in Ridgeway, Virginia. Martinsville recently celebrated its 70th anniversary, and as part of that celebration, it was revealed that they will soon be hosting night races. In fact, the light poles are already in place around the track. No night racing today, but there's plenty to be excited about as we get ready for our first short track event of the year. Everything is bigger in Texas, and that statement couldn't be more true for today's running of the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500 at Texas Motor Speedway on PRN. This 1.5-mile D-shaped oval recently underwent a Texas-sized overhaul. Speedway Motorsports added a new layer of asphalt over the existing pavement, and they reduced the banking in turns 1 and 2 by 4 degrees. Let's see if these drivers have mastered the new configuration. It's time to go racing. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bristol Motor Speedway for today's race, the Food City 500 on PRN. Bristol is one of the most famous tracks in NASCAR, mostly due to the close racing and all of the beating and banging that goes on out there. These drivers will have to leave their feelings at the door before strapping into their cars and entering the bull ring. We're coming to you from Richmond International Raceway for the Toyota Owners 400. Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series makes its first of two stops at this 0.7-mile asphalt track. The drivers love coming here because this D-shaped oval has multiple grooves that offer lots of great passing opportunities and tons of side-by-side -side racing. We love coming here for the same reason. So let's get ready for some racing. This week, we make our first stop at Talladega Super Speedway for today's running of the Geico 500. A fan favorite for sure, this 2.66 mile track, the largest in NASCAR, is famous for its tight racing, incredible speeds, and the ever looming possibility of the big one. The green flag is about to drop, and there's just no place quite like Talladega. We're live from Charlotte Motor Speedway for the running of the Coca-Cola 600. Today's event is one of the more unique races on the NASCAR schedule. At 600 miles, drivers and crew alike will face the ultimate test of skill and especially endurance. In 2016, Martin Truex Jr. dominated this race, leading 392 of 400 laps. So he's definitely one of the favorites today. NASCAR racing is coming up next on PRN. 
everyone. Tonight we're at Kansas Speedway getting the pins set for the Go Bowling 400. We're about a quarter of the way through the season and every race this year has been jam-packed with exciting action. Will we get another breakout performance tonight or will someone throw a gutter ball? Either way, buckle up. It's going to be exciting. Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series rolls into Dover, Delaware for the AAA 400 Drive for Autism. Dover International Speedway, also known as the Monster Mile, is a track with banking so high, it's often described as a roller coaster ride by the drivers. Miles the Monster is once again ready to torment this star-studded field of NASCAR drivers. Who can tame this monster? Well, let's head down to the track and find out. Today, we make our first stop at Pocono Raceway for the running of the Pocono 400. The tricky triangle, as it's known, is different than any other track these drivers will face all year. Pocono has only three turns, each one unique in design. That odd layout makes the setup of the car absolutely crucial. Plus, a team's ability to make in-race adjustments is often the key to a good performance here. The green flag is about to drop, so let's go down to the track. The stars of NASCAR roll into Michigan International Speedway for the Firekeepers Casino 400. Located in the scenic Irish Hills area of southeastern Michigan, today this D-shaped two-mile oval will play host to the best drivers in the world. So if you're a fan of speed, this is the race for you. Michigan is the fastest track in NASCAR with speeds often in excess of 200 miles per hour. Do you feel the need for speed? NASCAR racing is coming up next. NASCAR returns to the Golden State for the Toyota Save Mart 350 on PRN. Today, Sonoma Raceway will host the first of two road course events on the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series schedule. We're all set to go 110 laps through the heart of wine country. But this twisting 12-turn, 1.99-mile layout will be anything but relaxing for these drivers. The pace car is coming down to pit road. It's time to go racing. Tonight, NASCAR returns to Daytona Beach, Florida, and the Daytona International Speedway for the running of the Coke Zero 400 powered by Coca-Cola. A few summer storms rolled through earlier this afternoon, but the weather is cleared and we're all set to go racing. This race marks the beginning of the second half of the regular season. And a win tonight could be a momentum builder as the playoffs are just a couple of months away. This week, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series is at Kentucky Speedway for the Quaker State 400 presented by Advance Auto Parks. This track is nestled in college basketball country, but these fans also love their racing. Now last year, Brad Keselowski thought he ran out of fuel near the end of the race, but he had just enough left in the tank to hold off Carl Edwards. Will we see another fantastic finish here in the Bluegrass State? We're just moments away from the green flag. Today, NASCAR makes its first stop in Loudoun, New Hampshire for the New Hampshire 301. This 1.058 mile oval speedway will test a driver's patience. These guys are all set to run 300 laps, bumping and banging the entire way. The drivers are in their cars. So let's strap in and get ready for another exciting race at the Magic Mile. The Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series has pulled into Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400. So much racing history has happened at this hallowed place. Last year, Kyle Busch made more as he became the first driver ever to sweep both the Xfinity and Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series races at Indy two years in a row. His Toyota has simply been unstoppable. So it's time to see if he can pull off a three-peat and kiss the bricks one more time. NASCAR is back in Pennsylvania for its second and final stop at Pocono Raceway for the Pennsylvania 400. Now, as always, Pocono is a unique track with unique challenges. Each of the three turns are different from one another. The three straightaways are different lengths, and the banking in the turns is considerably less than most other long ovals. So crew chiefs once again are going to have to find the perfect setup to get their driver into victory lane. Welcome to Watkins Glen International for the running of the I Love New York 355 at the Glen. Today, NASCAR visits its second and final road course of the year. In 2015, this 2.45 mile venue underwent a repave, which has made the racing surface much smoother and added a ton of grip. 
Denny Hamlin snared his first road course win here in 2016, giving the new surface rave reviews. The drivers are ready to put the new surface to the test again. Let's go racing. This week, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series races back to Michigan International Speedway for the Pure Michigan 400. Michigan is the fastest track in NASCAR, making it a fan and driver favorite alike. In 2016, another fan favorite, Kyle Larson, picked up his first ever win, opting to ride his signature high line for nearly the entire race. Can he do it again today? It's time to find out. Hello, everyone. Tonight, NASCAR roars back to the last great Coliseum for the Bass Pro Shops NRA Night Race. Bone-rattling hits and heart-stopping finishes are both hallmarks of one of the most popular races in NASCAR. And if history is any indication, we're guaranteed to get another epic battle tonight. Colossus is ready. The drivers are ready. Let's get ready to go racing on PRN. NASCAR returns to Darlington Raceway for the Bojangles Southern 500. The Lady in Black has had a long tradition of tormenting drivers, but a new tradition has recently blossomed here as Darlington has become the host of the official NASCAR Throwback Weekend. So travel back in time with us today as we celebrate pre-1989 NASCAR. Let's head down to the track and get it started. Hello everyone and welcome to Richmond Motor Speedway for the Federated Auto Parts 400. Tonight we make our final stop at Richmond and our last stop before the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series playoffs start next week in Chicago. Many of tonight's drivers have already punched their ticket to the playoffs, but there's a few who need a good performance tonight to make it in. So strap yourselves in. The NASCAR regular season finale is coming up next. Hello everyone and welcome to Chicagoland Speedway for the Tales of the Turtles 400. Round one of the NASCAR playoffs starts today and 16 of these drivers will need all the turtle power they can muster if they want to win a championship. So they'll need to tame this 1.5 mile D-shaped tri-oval if they hope to advance. Let's get things started. We're live from New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the New England 300. This is race two of the NASCAR playoffs and the second of three events in the first round, which wraps up next week at Dover. Which of these drivers will put themselves in position to advance to the next round? Well, that's the question on everyone's minds today as we settle in for another week of exciting NASCAR racing. Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series returns to Dover, Delaware. This race marks the conclusion of the first round of the NASCAR playoffs. After today, only 12 drivers will keep the dream alive. This one mile concrete oval is primed and ready for its moment in the sun. And Miles the Monster will be more than happy to crush any driver's hopes and dreams. NASCAR playoff action is next. NASCAR is coming to you live from Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Bank of America 500 on PRN. Last week, the field of championship hopefuls was cut down to 12. This week, the playoffs roll on at this 1.5 mile quad oval located in the heart of NASCAR country. In 2016, Jimmy Johnson won this event, building momentum that would eventually lead him to a seventh championship. Who will find themselves in victory lane today? Today, we make our final stop at Talladega Super Speedway for the running of the Alabama 500. The NASCAR playoffs are in full swing as we're only a week away from the field being cut down to eight. A win is all it takes to clinch a spot in the next round, but that's easier said than done, especially at this place. This is NASCAR, and this is Talladega. Today, NASCAR returns to Kansas City for the Hollywood Casino 400, the sixth race of the NASCAR playoffs. 40 drivers will do battle on this 1.5 mile tri-oval, but only 12 have a shot at winning the championship. In 2016, Kevin Harvick took the checkered flag here, a win that catapulted him to the next round. Will we see something like that happen this year? Well, let's head down to the track and get this race started. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, NASCAR returns to Martinsville Speedway as we continue to drive toward crowning a new champion. Only eight drivers are left with a shot to take home that coveted NASCAR championship. And if those drivers want a shot at the big prize, they're gonna have to conquer the smallest track on the schedule. But don't let its size deceive you. 
this classic venue still packs quite a mean punch. The drivers are ready, so let's get ready to go green. The Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series thunders back to Texas Motor Speedway for the AAA Texas 500. Today, NASCAR's finest get another crack at this new configuration. For eight of those drivers, the stakes are as big as the state of Texas itself. With only two events left before the championship race, I'm sure they're leaving everything down there on the track. The Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series returns to Phoenix International Raceway today for the running of the Can-Am 500. We've nearly reached the end of another exciting season of NASCAR racing. When this season started, over 40 drivers had visions of winning the championship. But after tonight, only four will advance to Homestead, Miami with a shot at the title. Let's get this crucial race started. Hello everyone and welcome to South Florida for the Ford EcoBoost 400. Tonight at Homestead Miami Speedway, we're gonna crown the 2017 Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion. It's been another long, grueling season that for our four remaining contenders comes down to just 400 miles. 400 miles from glory. 400 miles from a date with history. The wait is finally over. NASCAR Championship Racing is next.